Hey guys, Marcus here from Investing Embers. Today I'm gonna to be talking about DRIP, specifically the Buddy and Team system. If you're unfamiliar with DRIP, I encourage you to watch my video about what it is, why I believe it's a great passive investment opportunity. Uh, also, I have a very detailed video that explains how to fund DRIP, either from Binance or from another exchange like Coinbase. I take you step by step, definitely worth taking a look. Okay. So this is the video you've been waiting for that really helps clarify the buddy system and why there's an advantage to being part of what's called a team wallet and why the biggest advantage in drip is growing a team. I'm leaving out all the fluff and confusion and really presenting the most pertinent info in uh, regarding buddies and teams. Now, before we talk about that, I do want to briefly address the concept that drip is a Ponzi. Now, from everything I have reviewed, and I have spent a lot of time going over everything, I do not believe that this is a Ponzi scheme, and I'm, I'm, I'm approaching it objectively. Um, I'm looking at how it's structured, and as it stands, if you don't sign up anyone under you within the program, you can make a fortune through this program via compounding, okay, and time. That's, that's a big factor in my thought process on this. Another factor is that any money that goes up from you only goes up 15 levels. That's it. Okay. So people at the top will never benefit from any new money. The developer, you know, he's probably at the top, right? Um, he's not going to benefit from somebody as far down as I am, assuming that I'm, you know, more than 15 levels deep. So you could actually make your fortune in drip. And as a team leader, you could do better than others that signed up before you that are further up the chain. Now, that's definitely not the way that a Ponzi works. At the very least, don't call it a Ponzi, call it an economic experiment. I mean, that's kind of what it is, right? And honestly, I think someone would really need to run some simulations to have a definitive answer on that, but I think it's legit. Now, will this platform succeed? That's a great question. A lot of people out there are talking about how it can how it can succeed, but there's not a lot of people out there talking about ways that it can fail. And that's what I want to know, right? How can this system fail that I'm going to invest my hard earned cash into? There are a few ways um, that I'm going to mention here, but these are not all the ways. These are some of the biggest ways. For example, no partnerships um, from the developers, the creators that would inject fresh funds into the system. That could be a problem. Uh, if everyone, and I mean everyone, deposits their funds and then immediately claims every single day without any hydration, that's going to cause a crash or an issue with the cash flow within the system. And then any sort of leadership fiascos like the Wonderland issue that happened recently, if you're not familiar with it, you can Google it or look it up on YouTube. That was a mess. So we're relying on a few things here. The developer Forex Shark needs to continue working on partnerships and ways to build excitement for the platform. And he's got a lot of great things planned this year. Um, people must claim and hydrate, and that's really been ongoing and it's been a success so far with everyone that I've talked to and every video that I've seen. And really the developers need to keep their noses clean, right? They need to stay out of trouble and not have any sort of history. And I'm assuming that's the case. I have to make that assumption if I'm going in because I can't predict the future and I can't dig any deeper than I have. So, you know, all of these things seem to be in line for now. I feel like Drip has a really great long-term bright future. All right, let's switch gears to the team and buddy system. As much as the multi-level aspect of this annoys me, I'm just not a fan of MLMs. It's actually critical to the sustainability of the platform. As more people interact, the more the rewards are transferred and create cash flow. Now, I'm breaking this part of the video into two areas, joining a team and forming a team, because you may want to invest in Drip, but you have no desire to form a team, and that's perfectly fine. Um, but joining a team is required to be part you know, of the whole thing, and the team you select is actually important. So. Let's start with joining a team. Now, when you join a team, you definitely want to find a buddy that has more than five other drippers or wallets signed up under them. 
like me, I've got 20 or 30 folks under me, um, as this actually provides you with an advantage. Signing up under a team leader like me, who has at least five folks under them, means you have the opportunity to get part of the rewards when you deposit or hydrate versus a team leader who has less than five, you're missing out on 25% of the rewards that are passed upline. I'll talk about that more in a second. I'm not even gonna cover joining a team with someone that doesn't have at least five wallets under them. You just shouldn't do it. So let's take a look at this. All right, so this is uh, just a shot of, okay, on the left, we're saying this is a team wallet, which is, an, my wallet's a perfect example of that. Again, I'm not gonna cover folks that have less than five people under them. And um, whenever you deposit or hydrate, okay, um, there are rewards that are passed up line. So when it's deposit, it's 10%. Um, when you hydrate, it's 5%. Now, being part of a team wallet, all of your deposits and hydrates that you perform are gonna return 25% of this reward, the above reward, back to you. So this is an advantage that you definitely wanna take advantage of, not miss out on um, when it comes to selecting your team leader, okay? Next up, if you're looking to turbocharge your drip journey, you're gonna to wanna to form a drip team, okay? Your ability to make money on drip can be a combination of compounding and forming a team under you where the benefits flow up and down. However, as a team leader, you benefit more, as you should. Now, by educating yourself, you've got a better chance of leading a larger team. You know, follow this channel, you're gonna learn a lot. Basically, you're gonna get your drip degree. Now, I'm specifically covering the process of having a team of at least five wallets under you, as it's really not worth forming a team if you don't have at least five wallets. Plus, it really benefits the sustainability of the platform. Now, in addition to the advantages of joining someone with a team wallet, okay, there are other great parts to this, to this whole thing by being a, a team leader. There are some requirements. I wanna cover those first. All right, so first, you need to have a net deposit value that is in the positive, okay? Net deposit value equals deposits plus any airdrops plus any hydrates minus any claims that you have taken, okay? And let me give you a little clarity on what that means and an easy way to figure that out, okay? But here you can see my deposits. You can see, you cannot see my airdrops, but I'll show them to you. You can see um, my claimed, and this includes any hydration that I've done. Um, so I'm gonna do a little math here to get that, but instead of doing the math, let the Drip Network website do the work for you, okay? Simply scroll down, all right? Click use my address, you're gonna copy this address because that is your address. So you're gonna select it and copy it. Go back up, okay? Go to the player lookup, all right? Paste in your player address and click go. Here is my net deposits. I'm obviously in the positive, but the Drip Network does the math for me. You can obviously see the, the airdrops that I've sent one a couple of minutes ago. So this is an easy way to see if you are net positive. Okay, so that is absolutely critical to receiving benefits, rewards um, as a team leader. Okay, all right. Next up, you need to have at least two BREEP in your wallet, the wallet that is connected to the Drip Network, okay? Well, what is BREEP? This is another token that um, was created by Forex Shark. And again, this is just part of his whole sustainability and bringing value to everything that he develops, all right? Now, how do you get BREEP in your wallet? If you've already watched my videos that talk about how to fund Drip, then you're in Drip or you're thinking about it, you can watch those videos you wanna be a team leader, you're gonna need this brief in your wallet. If you don't have at least two, you will not get the rewards from people that are hydrating and depositing. So I'm gonna walk you through the process of how to get brief tokens in your wallet, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over here to the Drip Network website, 
Right at the top, there's your option to buy brie. You're gonna click on that. It's gonna take you to Pancake Swap. All right. You're gonna go here. You're gonna see this notification. Click on the I understand. Continue to V1 anyway. That's where you wanna go. Don't worry, that's where you need to be. Then you're gonna see another notification. You're gonna select I understand and you're gonna continue. All right, at this point, you need to choose the currency that you are going to purchase your brief with. In the case of this example, I'm gonna click select currency and I'm gonna choose BNB. And I'm not gonna go all the way through the process, but you'll get the idea. So I choose BNB as the currency I'm gonna to use to purchase brief, select it, and I go down here and I choose brief, which should already be available and listed. If it is not, you can click on the question mark and you're going to paste in this address, which I'll include in my description in the video. That is the address for brief. It will be found and then you can click add and add it as an item that you can now swap for. And then you're gonna to wanna to make the swap. Now, a note about slippage. If this transaction does not occur, okay, then you can always click here and adjust your slippage tolerance as needed, and then you should be able to complete this transaction. Make sure you go a little higher than you need because there could be other you know, fees and things. You wanna make sure that you've got enough to get enough brief in your wallet you need at least two uh, for your first downline. And as you can see in my wallet, I have a little over two here, so I'm able to benefit from all of those rewards. A side note here, um, Breep, okay, if you're curious about the cost, I will include a link also. Looking at it now, it's somewhere in the 300 range per token. So you're looking at about 600 bucks plus to get enough brief in your wallet to be a team leader. Um, but I gotta tell you, I mean, it's absolutely uh, worth it. As you grow your team, you'll make that money back um, because of the rewards. So now that we've kind of covered some of those requirements, let's talk about those rewards. All right, so we covered the requirements. Oh, this is super important. Make sure that you use your buddy address, right? This is where you get it. Don't use my buddy address. You know, if you want to sign up under me, great, but don't send mine out. Use yours, you know, take advantage of this and create your download line. So that's your link that you want people to use when they're signing up under the Drip Network. All right, cool. Next up. Okay. Some rewards and information about rewards. <clears throat> As a team leader with at least five wallets under you, okay, every hydrate and deposit in Drip everywhere within the Drip network triggers a reward round, okay? Just something to know. We already talked about that it's 10% for deposits, 5% for hydrate. Now, you receive rewards from your downline, okay? The rewards are given by a round robin system, which means each time someone under you deposits or hydrates, it is passed to you or someone above you in order up to 15 levels, and then it starts over. Okay, so you may not always get the immediate reward, but you're part of the reward system at the point when you have five under you, and you wouldn't be if you had no team or you had less than five. So. This is a great opportunity to add funds to your deposit balance. And uh, you do that again <clears throat> by signing folks up under you. In each round robin reward round, okay, one wallet in your upline, including you, will receive 75% of that reward, whether it's a hydrate or a deposit. 25% is returned back to the original wallet, whoever it was, which is a great advantage for you to supply to your team members. So as I just mentioned, you're gonna get this 75% of that hydrate reward or that deposit reward, or it's gonna travel further up into your upline, okay? That reward position is incremented each time a reward is awarded. So if it's you, then, it's, then the next time somebody hydrates or deposits under you, that's passed to a per, somebody directly above you and then above them and so on. Now, 
only eligible wallets will receive those rewards. So assuming you've completed all the requirements that I mentioned, you'll get the reward. If someone above you has signed you up, but they're not a team wallet, they're not eligible um, and they don't have, or, you know, they don't have those requirements I mentioned previously, they're going to be skipped and it's going to go past them. And then eventually it'll reach the top and come back down to you. So again, big opportunity there to make those rewards on deposits and drips. One of the coolest parts of this entire system. Now in the real world, you may have been held back from job growth opportunities because of geography or countless other factors, but in the drip ecosystem, you can be the top dog just like anybody else by simply forming a team that grows beneath you. You're the CEO of your own company within Drip. Anybody can do it. You just got to put in the effort. Now, there are a lot of other small nuances here that I didn't cover in detail. Like if there isn't an eligible wallet found in a single round robin, then no rewards are given. But this isn't really relevant. It's likely that someone up the chain is going to get the reward. Um, I didn't really cover non-team wallets or if you form a team and have less than five folks under you. Again, the vast majority of folks will have a team of at least five. And if you're going to form a team, plan on hitting that five minimum. All right. So really that closes it out for me. I hope you've learned what you need to join a team, form a team and chart your course in the drip waters. Now, I always end my video with a challenge. My challenge for you is to join a team, join the drip network, join my team. You know, I'm going to be putting more videos out here that educate folks. I'm really responsive with questions in the comments, and I love this whole journey. I'm having a blast. I'd love for you to be part of the team. Now, if you've joined my team or any other team, my challenge to you is to form a team, support the Drip Network, and create a future for yourself within Drip. Now, most of all, <laughs> have some fun. This Drip, this whole Drip endeavor, this is like the opportunity of a lifetime. Honestly, I really believe it. It's going to absolutely kill it this year. I've got a feeling that the animal farm launching tomorrow is going to be a major catalyst for Drip and create even more value within the Drip network. <clears throat> and you combine all of those initiatives like this with the partnerships that the, the developer Forex Shark is announcing later this month and the following month, and you will be so glad you jumped in now and not later. All right. Hey, I hope you have a wonderful, prosperous rest of the week, and I hope to see you soon.